as Kemi's finger tightened around the trigger, the weight of her decision hung heavily in the air. She had just taken the life of a man, a member of the gang she had joined, but the memory of the trauma he had inflicted on her and her cousin Bumi fueled her actions. With each shot fired, Kemi felt a surge of adrenaline coursing through her veins. A mixture of fear and liberation swirling within her. As the final armed robot fell to the ground, Kemi's hands trembled. The reality of what she had just done sinking in. She turned to face Bumi and her other two cousins. With trembling hands, Kemi ripped off her mask, revealing her face to Bumi and her cousins. Recognition dawned on their faces, a mixture of shock and disbelief. Kemi, Bumi's voice cracked with emotion. Tears streaming down her face, Kemi rushed to embrace them. The weight of years of separation and suffering seemed to lift with that touch. But their reunion was short-lived. The sirens wailed in the distance, a chilling reminder of the danger they were in. I have to go, Kemi whispered urgently, her gaze darting towards the window. A silent understanding passed between them. Bumi and her cousins nodded in silent agreement, their eyes reflecting a mixture of fear and gratitude towards Kemi. With a newfound sense of purpose, she hurriedly prepared to scramble out of the mansion, leaving behind the chaos and violence that engulfed her life until now. As she prepared to use the door as an escape into the night, the two of her older cousins held her hand and apologized for how badly they had treated her before. Kemi smiled with tears in her eyes, then proceeded to touch both of them on their cheeks before leaping into the night, never to return again. With a final goodbye, Kemi vanished into the night leaving behind the chaos and the ghosts of her past. Outside, the night's air was thick with tension as she navigated the dark streets, her heart pounding in her chest with each passing moment. But amidst the uncertainty, there was a glimmer of hope shining brightly within her, a beacon of light guiding her towards a future free from the shadows of their past. Even though she had just taken the life of a man, or more accurately, several men, her chest bubbled with a grim type of joy. It was a mixture of satisfaction.